we're going to talk about using voiceover and having it to be controlled via Apple Script. And it's a very simple process when using voiceover utilities. It gets very, very complicated when you need to learn and implement Apple Scripting. However, Apple Scripting is a very, very powerful scripting language that allows you to automate a workflow or certain task inside of the Mac. Luckily, we have some pre-configured voiceover utility items that are already able to be used with voiceover and Apple script and I'm going to show you a couple of them now. I'm going to open voiceover utilities with the VO keys F8. Opening voiceover voiceover utility. Voiceover utility window. Utility categories table. Row 1 of 10. General. Selected has keyboard focus. And we're already in the general area so I'm going to press VO shift function right arrow and go to the bottom because I know that's where the selection that I need is. Help button. Entering voice over utility voice over utility standard window. Setup button. Portable setup but allow voice over to be controlled with Apple script. Check check box. So in voice over utilities under general you will hear voice over say allow voice over to be controlled using Apple script and there's a check box. Simply press the space bar if your box is not checked and then let's go back up to the top. I'm going to use VO shift function left arrow. Toolbar. Go back to the toolbar. Utility categories table. Row 1 of 10. VO general. Right arrow. Selected to the table interact activities wrote braille commanders I'm gonna go to the bottom of the table work my way up so I'm on commanders stop into trackpad selected tab one of four so you have the trackpad that's selected and if you have a trackpad on your computer you're able to use commanders and Apple script with voiceover for your trackpad numpad tab two of four the number pad for the larger keyboard that does have a number pad keyboard tab three of four and for this tutorial we're going to use the keyboard because I'm sure all of you have a keyboard press keyboard tab 3 or 4 keyboard quick nav tab 4 or 4 and then we have the quick nav commanders as well so I have the keyboard selected enable keyboard commander check check box and you need to check this box enable keyboard commander as you can see mine is checked use Right option key. Use pop up button. And you can use the right option key or you can use the left option key. Your choice. I prefer to use the right since I never really use it. Keyboard commander table. No selection. So we're on the keyboard commander table and there's nothing selected. So I'm going to interact. Interact with keyboard commander table. Row one of six. Keyboard key. Keyboard key. M. Mic. So the keyboard key M command open application mail menu button and the command is to open mail so if I were to hold down the option key and press the letter M it would open mail I don't want to do that because I'm gonna get flooded and you're gonna hear probably about 40 messages come through at one time so I have that closed keyboard key S Sierra. And we have the keyboard key S. Command open application. Safari menu button. The command is open application and it's telling me that we want to open Safari. So let's try it. I'm going to hold down the option key. Safari. Untitled window. Toolbar. And Apple Accessibility Consulting. Teaching and support HTML content. Heading. The Fedora website comes up as expected just by holding down the option key and pressing voice the over utility S. voice and i'm going to try one more so one apple script script time of day menu button so this is a apple script which is the time of day and i'm going to keyboard key t press the tango. letter t as in tango in the option key may 27th 5 18 p.m and that's a little bit that you can do with the ability of having Apple Script controlled using voiceover.